A break in at one of the last places you guess has put Detroiters personal information at risk. Good to have you with us here at six. The break in happened at the Detroit Water and Sewage Department's customer care facility on the east side. We're told two thieves broke through the walls and took off with cash and checks. Let's get to Coco McAboy. She is live right now in Coco. Do we know how many people are impacted through this? Kimberly and Devin, about 30 people are impacted because 30 checks were stolen. And we spoke with one of those customers, and she does not want to be identified because the thieves have her address, her checking number, her routing number, and she fears what that could mean. It's scary. It's scary because, like I said, what's going on in today's times with electronic computers, they can manipulate. She got a call this morning saying her check to pay her Detroit water and sewerage bill was stolen in a break in on Saturday. Her first thought? I said that was Saturday and you're just notifying me today. Then she thought, my God, how could they break into this secured facility? Well, the director of the department, Gary Brown, says it was intense. They used sledgehammers to get through a cinder block wall, got into the building. Uh, broke through some plexiglass uh, walls to get into a safe room and then use sledgehammers to break a open a safe. A safe that was holding a lot of cash and about 30 checks from customers who paid their bill Thursday and were left at the facility because of the holiday. Uh, Friday was a holiday, so they wouldn't be back until Monday. So these were just the receipts. Now they're planning to have more security precautions. You know, some criminals are just uh, always going to be better than we are, and we'll just have to put up a better defense for the next time. But this woman says there won't be a next time for her. She's no longer paying bills to the East Side facility, and I'm not paying with checks. I'm not going to trust my checks anymore. And a big question that a lot of people have is why didn't the department notify people sooner? Why did they wait until today? Well, the department says that they had to go into their system on Monday, figure out which checks were impacted, and then they wanted to personally reach out to all of those people. They say that they're going to people's addresses even, and that everyone should know who's impacted by the end of today. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. Well, it's Coco, you're saying the department is reaching out to people. That's great, but are they doing anything else for their customers? Right, so that's another big question that people have, and the department says what they are providing for their customers is they're making sure that they have a free credit service for the year so that they can have their, you know, credit monitored and make sure that people aren't doing this, you know, aren't really impacting their credit scores. But, of course, people are still upset, and they're hoping that something like this doesn't happen again. Yeah, I can't blame them for being upset. Okay, Coco, thanks. Right.